Let's talk about line formats. This is another one that comes up quite a bit where users are not fully comprehending the different benefits of using line formats and some of the takeaways from them, what they can be used for and what they can't be used for. So you'll notice right here in this particular sketch, I've got a solid cube or solid rectangle square. I've got a solid circle. Then I've got a dashed or dotted circle. I've also got a center line square. And I've got another center line square that is not quite as thick. So here's the difference between these. <clears throat> if I finish that sketch and I click on extrude, notice very carefully. Well, I didn't mean to dock it. Notice very carefully what does the extrude command pick up? If I hover over here, notice it picks up the outside profile between the square and the solid circle. But notice it does not isolate the dotted circle. It does isolate the centerline square, the thicker centerline square, but it does not isolate the thinner centerline square. Well, why not? It's all about that line format. So with circles, and arcs. Circles and arcs, of course, can be solid. Or if you select the geometry, come up here to the format panel and choose the very top option, that's your construction line option. Turns it into a dashed or dotted object line. Circles and arcs cannot be center lines. So if I come up here to the format, you'll notice there's a center line icon and both of these icons function as on off switches. Basically, notice I cannot change the line format of that circle to a center line, which seems weird, but I'll get back to that in a minute. So a construction object is not seen as a valid sketch boundary. So the extrude command, the revolve command, they do not see that construction object as a valid sketch profile. It is simply there for construction purposes. Now let's talk about a line segment. And of course, this applies to everything else, rectangles, slots, uh, polygon shapes, what have you. <clears throat> Four different options with line segments. Of course, the option of a solid line. Or if I select that line, I can invoke the same construction option, turns into that dotted line. I can also select a line segment, turn it into a center line, and you'll notice it's a bold center line line type. If I select the final one and I turn on both of the switches, not only is it a center line, but it's now a construction center line. So in this particular scenario, the only two that function as a valid sketch boundary is the solid and the center. The two that have construction as part of their creation, they are not valid sketch boundaries. So back to this case right here, that's why this particular square, each one of the little triangles is seen as a valid sketch boundary because it's nothing but center lines. Whereas this one is not because it is entirely made of construction center lines and same for the circle it's construction only <clears throat>